What's up? I'm Anwen with Emerald Code Decoded. On Emerald Code, Lana, Simona, and their friends find all kinds of uses for 3D printers, but Sophie from Calgary is taking it to another level. She found a way to make making a virus a whole lot of fun. Ten students from across Canada achieving greatness in science, technology, engineering, and math. This is Emerald Code Decoded. Hi, my name is Sophie Hoy Pollock and I created a 3D printed self-assembling model of a virus. What I did is I created a 3D printed plastic model of a virus, uh, which is in the shape of a dodecahedron, which is commonly a shape that viruses do form. This 3D printed model uh, has small magnets inserted into each of these 12 individual tiles representing each one of the 12 sides on this dodecahedron. When these pieces are broken up in a container and shaken, then they will self-assemble to form a viral shell or what's called a viral capsid. Uh, the second component of my project was trying to form a unique antiviral therapy. What I decided to do was create mutant tiles. So I went back to the drawing board with my 3D printing model and I created bumps on the sides of each of the tiles, which hinders the viral assembly. After seven mutant tiles, uh, the virus could no longer assemble or would take greater than five minutes to assemble in my shaking container, which I deemed an effective antiviral therapy. Do you have any advice for others? It's totally wrong to think that everything's already been done, because it hasn't. There's seven billion of us on Earth, or whatever, and we still can never do everything. So there's always something that you can do. There's always something that you can look into. To meet more cool kids who are doing stuff like Sophie, check out emeraldcode.ca to find all the ways you can use STEM to find out about stuff you think is fascinating.